too open. <laughs> too open. Dana Altman, a coach, a leader, a friend, and a key to the success of the Creighton Blue Jays basketball program. At once a fierce competitor, yet a confident leader and role model, Coach Altman has led these Blue Jays to an unprecedented streak of success. What are his secrets? How does he do it? And most of all, what precious lifelong memories will his departing players carry with them? What are the captured moments they will reflect upon? Recollections of a man, a myth, a legend. I remember one, th one day in practice, <laughs> Corey, Corey Brandon is back when Corey was playing. I think Corey was a senior. and He went between his legs, behind his back, and did all that fancy stuff or whatever the coach doesn't like. And coaches stopped practice and started yelling at Corey or something. Then he grabbed the ball, and in his frustration, he, he started trying to imitate Corey and like going like this and stuff and it was it was pretty bad but <laughs> while he was doing it and he just making fun of Corey he like tripped or something and fell down and and he tried to play it off like that's what he meant to do but it was hard to <laughs> hard to keep from laughing and I know he's watching this probably he's gonna be watching this so uh, that's why I kept a straight face and stuff. Uh, we were all I think it was my sophomore freshman year with Rodney and um, coach is just going nuts on us in practice, just getting after us. And he says something, and this big spitball just came flying, flying out of his mouth. <laughs> and it, it hits Rodney in the shirt. <laughs> and Rodney's looking around like, you know, looking at everybody else, trying not to laugh. <laughs> he looks over there at me, and coach knows, he's, he knows he spit on Rodney, you know. Coach is sitting there, you know, just still going nuts. And, and Roddy just, you know, wiped it off and, and everybody's laughing. You know, everybody's having a good time laughing. But. Welcome to the 14th annual Blue Jay Bash. Through the years, we've had the opportunity to see some very special and unforgettable players at Creighton University. You've watched guys like Bob Portman, Kevin McKenna, Randy Ecker, Rodney Buford, Bob Harstad, and Chad Gallagher. We've seen champions come and go. Throughout the years, one thing has remained the same. The players we've seen excel and walk through the doors of Creighton have all been Blue Jays. Never to be taken for granted are the people who have made Creighton Athletics the prestigious organization that it is today. Coach Red McManus, who mentored guys like Paul Silas to become champions themselves. Dr. Lee C. Bevilacqua, or Doc, who gave his life to the many men and women of Creighton Athletics in order to see them through the toughest of times, regardless of the cost. Coach Altman, who has given a new meaning to the word champion. Dana has given the men's basketball team a new standard upon which to achieve greatness. And indeed, the word greatness brings to mind two very special players. Two players who are tried and true Blue Jays who bring their own definition to the word champion. Two players by the names of Ryan Sears and Ben Walker. When 
I was in high school, I was experiencing some, some pretty tough times, you know, and, and a lot of schools were, were falling out on me. You know, my junior year, my senior year, you know, I, I wasn't getting the ACT and things like that. And, and, you know, Creighton believed in me. You know, the coaching staff, they made it, they made sure that, you know, they were going to stick with me the whole way. So I felt that, hey, if these guys are going to stick through, you know, the hard time with me also, you know, how can I repay these guys? How can I say thank you to them and say, hey, I'm going to come here and play ball with Creighton University. You know, just relying on, on God to put me where he wanted me because I wanted to play basketball for him and, you know, I prayed about it and stuff and, and uh, like one by one all my options would close except Creighton and, and also, you know, the, they had what I was looking for um, academically at the time and coaches just seemed like great guys and everything just seemed to, to fit so just kind of stepped out in faith and just came here. Basketball is a tough sport, you know, and, and being a student athlete is even tougher. You know, and just watching all the guys and, and, and watching how the seniors just, just took over, you know, in my four years. You know, when times got real tough, they just said, hey, you know, we're not, we're not going to fold. You know, and, and that was a great learning experience for the, the seniors we had this year because, you know, we said the same thing, hey, we're not going to fold, just like the guys said before us. And that's, that's a sign of, of maturity, you know, and it's a sign of, of everybody on the same page. And it's also a sign of us growing, you know, all of us coming together and saying, okay, you know, we lost a couple of games, you know, now let's, you know, let's, let's make our move. You know, getting the target off our backs and just going for well, whatever. Whatever happened to us, you know, if we played hard and we lost playing hard, we'd feel good about it no matter what. So that's probably what I remember the most, watching all the guys grow. I met Doc just in the hallway my freshman year, you know, in the halls of, of the athletic department, you know, and he came up to me and said, how you doing? I'm Doc Bivolacqua, you know, and he told me a joke right on the spot. So, I mean, he made me laugh right away, you know, and, and I was very comfortable. I mean, he made me feel very, very comfortable. And, and people understand that when, you know, you may think you were feeling real good, you know, some days you may think you're happy and things are going well, but Doc made you feel even better about yourself, you know. I mean, he always had a joke for you all the time. Always wanted people to smile, you know, he always smiled, you know, and things like that. And, and he cared a lot for, you know, his family, you know, the Creighton athletes, you know, the Creighton staff, things like that. And, and I'm gonna miss him a lot. You know, I probably carry that patch everywhere I go, you know, cause I, I never ever wanna forget Doc, you know. And, and he most definitely has, a, you know, a spot in my heart where, you know, he put his hand there and, and, and you know, made me feel comfortable and, and put me in his family. What I, I respect about Ben is uh, just he was all about the team and he, he would do whatever it took to win and I, and I knew that on the floor so it's not like um, I, didn't, I didn't have to worry about Ben. I knew that he was gonna he was gonna play to win and play hard every night out and, um, and I really respected that and that, it was fun playing it's fun playing with guys like that who you know they're they're all about the team and just want to win and you know don't care about themselves they just want to play hard and, and do what it takes to win and um, that was that was probably that's probably the, the best the best thing or the most respect I have for, for Ben in that area but we've been a team and you know I, I just we've been through a lot together and you know the whole team all the seniors we've been through a lot together and I think that's what that's that's the the good memories I have. I mean it's been a blessing you know a lot of guys don't find guys where where they just care about the team you know nothing else doesn't really you know matter I mean other things could have been going on I mean this guy you know it was a time where his you know his his family you know was in need I mean it's his grandfather passed away and things like that and and you know how important that is to a lot of people he was like you know what hey you know my team needs me you know and he just came right back to you know the next day in the practice and and just picked it up you know got right back you know and and that's a credit to Ryan. I mean, he's a great guy, really, really strong guy, and I'm going to miss him a lot. Um, they give me a chance to play, play the game that I love to play for, and go to school for free at the same time. So that's like a huge, a huge thing. They've given me an education. They've given me, 
Um, I think I've grown as a person a lot. Um, and you know, and then, and then I, I've developed a lot of friendships and stuff over the years that from people at Creighton, I've got to, you know, like I said, got to know Doc, and got to know all the guys on the team and the coaches, and there's a there's great guys, and uh, I know it's gonna be hard to leave, but you know, Creighton's done a lot for me, and um, but got got to leave sometime, I guess. Last memory would probably just be sitting there in the Civic, sitting down in the chair, you know, when the, when the time is ticking down and, and watching the guys, you know, have a good time out there and laughing, you know, for that last time in that chair. You know, that's, that's an unforgettable feeling and I probably will never forget it.